Hey guys, welcome back to Trusted Technology. Today we'll talk about why the artificial intelligence system soon sees the world like humans do. Let's head into it. Computer vision systems sometimes make interferences about a scene that fly in the face of common sense. For example, if a robot were processing a scene of a dinner table, it might completely ignore a bowl that's visible to any human observer, estimate that a plate is floating above the table, or misperceive a fork to be penetrating a bowl rather than leaning against it. Move that computer vision system to a self-driving car the stakes become much higher. For example, such systems have failed to detect emergency vehicles and pedestrians crossing the street. To overcome these errors, MIT researchers have developed a framework that helps machines see the world more like humans do. Their new artificial intelligence system for analyzing scenes learns to perceive real-world objects from just a few images and perceives scenes in terms of these learned objects. These researchers built a framework using probabilistic programming, an AI approach that enables the system to cross-check detected objects against input data to see if the images recorded from a camera are likely matched to any candidate scene. Probabilistic interference allows the system to infer whether mismatches are likely due to noise or to errors in the scene interpretation that need to be corrected by further processing. This common sense safeguard allows the system to detect and correct many errors that plague the deep learning approaches that have also been used for computer vision. Probabilistic programming also makes it possible to infer probable contact relationships between objects in the scene and use common sense reasoning about these contacts to infer more accurate positions for objects. In addition to improving the safety of self-driving cars, this work can enhance the performance of computer perception systems and must interpret complicated arrangements of objects, like a robot tasked with cleaning a cluttered kitchen. A blast from the past. To develop the system called 3D Scene Perception via probabilistic programming, the researchers drew on a concept from the early days of AI research, which is that computer vision can be thought as the inverse of computer graphics. Computer graphics focuses on generating images based on the representation of a scene. Computer vision can be seen as the inverse of this process. Gothaskar and his collaborators made this technique more learnable and scalable by incorporating it into a framework built using probabilistic programming. Probabilistic programming allows us to write our knowledge about some aspects of the world in a way a computer can interpret, but at the same time, it allows us to express what we don't know, the uncertainty. So the system is able to automatically learn the data and also automatically detect when the rules don't hold, Kasumana Towner explains. In this case, the model is encoded with prior knowledge about 3D scenes. For instance, 3DP3 knows that scenes are composed of different objects and that these objects often lay flat on top of each other, but they may not always be in much simple relationships. This enables the model to reason about a scene with more common sense. Learning shapes in scenes. To analyze an image of a scene, 3DP3 first learns about the objects in that scene after being shown only five images of an object, each taken from a different angle. 3DP3 learns the object's shape and estimates the volume it will occupy in space. The 3DP3 system generates a graph to represent the scene, where each object is a node, and the lines that connect the nodes indicate which objects are in contact with each other. This enables 3DP3 to produce a more accurate estimation of how the objects are arranged, outperforming baseline models. The researchers compared 3DP3 with several deep learning systems, all tasked with estimating the poses of 3D objects in the scene. In nearly all instances, 3DP3 generated more accurate poses than in other models and perform far better when some objects were partially obstructing others. And 3DP3 only needed to see five images of the object, while each of the baseline models it outperformed needed thousands of images for training. When used in conjunction with another model, 3DP3 was able to improve its accuracy. For instance, a deep learning model might predict that a bowl is floating slightly above a table, but because 3DP3 has knowledge of that contact relationship and can see that this is an unlikely configuration, it's able to make a correction by aligning the bowl with the table. In the future, the researchers would like to push the system further so it can learn about an object from a single image or a single frame in a movie and then be able to detect that object robustly in different scenes. They would also like to explore the use of GDP3 to gather training data from a neural network. It's often difficult for humans to manually label images with 3D geometry, so 3DP3 could be used to generate more complex image labels. The 3DP3 system combines low-fidelity graphics modeling with common sense reasoning to correct large scene interpretation errors made by deep learning neural nets. This type of approach could have brought applicably as it addresses important failure modes for deep learning. The MIT researcher's accomplishment also shows how probabilistic programming technology previously developed under DARPA's probabilistic programming
programming for advanced machine learning program can be applied to solve central problems of common sense AI under DARPA's current machine common sense program, says Matt Turek, DARPA program manager of the machine common sense program, who was not involved in this research, though the program partially funded the study. What do you think about AI systems that can see like humans? Let us know in the comment section. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.